Hello everyone, this is David Danforth. I'm here just to spread the word of God and touch on addiction. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us all life, Lord God. Please bless everyone that views this video, Lord God. Bless them. Touch their lives, Lord God. Hopefully everyone that sees this gets something from it, Lord God. Work in their lives, Lord God. Please touch this country. Touch this world, Lord God. Help them all through, Lord God. Let them know that you haven't given up on them and that you never will give up on them, Lord God. Touch all viewers of this, Lord God. Touch anybody that needs your help today, Lord God. Bless them, heal them, work through them, work in them, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. Alright, so addiction. That's something that's very near and dear to my heart, very personal to me thing is I've been clean a year and three months now I was addicted to pain pills this is my second time getting clean from pain pills the longest I've went And I feel great. This time I'm doing it with God. I was having troubles with that. And I was praying and praying that he would help me through it. And he did. I put them down, cold turkey. Didn't touch them anymore. Like I said, it's been... A year and three months now since last time I touched pink pills but it took a lot of praying and a lot of believing I had to believe in God that's the only way I was going to get through it was to believe in God he got me through it ask and you shall receive believe and it shall be done and I fought it for a long time, but he did it. God got me clean. I did it. God did. God got me through my problems. I did it. God did. It don't matter if your addiction is food, pills, Marijuana, heroin, meth, speed, caffeine, abusive relationships. It don't matter what your addiction is. All of those are addictions. They could be addictions. Give your life to God. Talk to God every day. Believe that he will get you through. Believe it is done. You believe it is done and you put your problems and your life in his hands and give it to him for him to control and give him free reign on your life, on your soul, on your heart, on your mind, and on your strength, God will get you through. He will take you right out of that abusive relationship. He will take you out of the addiction of meth, heroin, weed, speed, pills, caffeine, food, electronics, whatever your addiction is, God can and he will do it. I'm at the best 
part of my life that I've ever been. I've, the best of my life that I've ever been. I've dealt with PTSD. I'm still dealing with PTSD. I'm dealing with so much stuff from when I was in the military. And it was easier to take a pill than to deal with it, than to deal with the nightmares, than to deal with the reality. But I know that there's something stronger than me. There's something more powerful than me. And that's God. And he tells me, I have resurrection powers. I have healing powers. And it is inside me. I have to channel that. I have to believe in God. And believe that when I speak healing or resurrection or cure or uh, lifting up of addiction that I have to believe that he's already doing it and I know he's already doing it so this is what I'm going to tell you this is how it is our Heavenly Father he sent his son to die on the cross for our sins he loves all of us but what we have to do is repent accept him in our life and believe in him we put him first before anything else and we do all things I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I have. I have gotten through addiction. I've gotten through a failed marriage. Me and my wife is happily married. Now. God has gotten us through this. God has gotten me through addiction. God has gotten me to the point that I'm at now. God is working in my life stronger and harder than he has ever. And I am more hungry for him than I have ever been. I will never discount what God has done. Because God is the only reason why I am still alive today. God is the only reason why I am still married and now happily married today. God is the only reason why I am not addicted to anything today. God has come to my heart. God has blessed me more than I could ever imagine. God has done miracles in my life more than I could ever imagine. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, He died on the cross for our sins, for our addiction, for our abusive relationships. You don't have to live that life anymore. God tells us He will be there for us. God tells us He's the answer. He is. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, died on the cross, shed His blood for our sins, our addiction, our sickness. We are healed. Soon as we ask, before we even ask, God knows what we're going to ask. God knows what we're doing. God knows what we're thinking. And we're already healed. It's in the process of happening. We just have to continue to believe and know that he will get us through. It don't matter what drugs you're doing. It don't matter how strong it seems like this relationship, abusive relationship is. It don't matter how abusive this person is. God will bring you up out of that. God will take you away from that. God will cause a situation to happen for you to get away from it. God will do this. 
God will make a way. Even when it seems like there's no hope. There's no way. There's no will. God's will will be done. God's way will be made. And God will make a path. God will make opportunity. God will give you life. New life. You have to fight harder than you've ever fought before. You have to be willing to do whatever to show God and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that you love them. And he will always be there to show us that he loves us. He will never give up on us. Mankind gives up. God and Jesus does not. They do not give up on us. They stay by our side every step of the way. They carry us if we need to be carried. They hold our hands if we need our hands held. They take away the drugs if we need the drugs gone. This is something that controlled me for a long time. This is something that has been hard for me. I haven't talked about it, except for to a few people in my life. I definitely never thought I'd make a public video about it. But if it could help someone, if it could bring someone out of addiction, out of an abusive relationship, out of being addicted to food, caffeine, nicotine, then I'm willing to do it. God sacrificed His Son for our love. I could sacrifice my story for this love. If it touches one person, then I'm willing to do it. He have brought so many out of addiction. He has moved wonderfully in so many people's lives. He has moved mountains. He has moved buildings. He has moved people out of our lives. To show us that he loves us. That he is there and that he will never give up. He has done this to show us that He is real. You just have to believe. You just have to show Him. He will show you every day. Even if things are as bad as they have ever been. People's like, oh, sometimes it's not worth waking up. No. If you get to testify or you get to witness to someone about the miracles that God has done in your life in our lives then it's worth waking up Jesus gives you life he has given you life sometimes it might feel like what is going on he might be testing you don't give up no he will get you through even if it feels like all hope and all ways, all wills is done, it's gone everything away from us God is not God will never leave us He will take your hand He will walk you through that addiction He will get you out of that addiction and He'll rise you up just like He rose up His Son from death You believe in Him. You repent to Him. You give your life to Him. You accept Him as your Lord and Savior. You will have everlasting life. No matter if you feel this life here on earth is miserable. God will get you out. God will bring you up. God will raise you up. And you will have everlasting life in heaven. He's going to show his love 
You have to accept it. You have to listen. You have to clear your heart, your mind, your soul, and your strength to know that God is working in you. To know this is what God says. This is what it will be. Addiction cannot hold, cannot have a strong hold on your life anymore. Satan cannot have a strong hold on your life anymore. Because God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is working in every single one of you. He's going to bring you up. He's going to take you out of addiction, take you out of abusive relationships. Take you out of obesity. Take you out of caffeine, nicotine. God has healed you. Believe it. Know it. And live it. All I could do is share my story, which is what I have done. All I could do these videos and hopefully it touches someone's life our Lord God will never give up he's a merciful God he's a jealous God but he is a merciful loving God he is an amazing God he is a wonderful God he is God he could take anything away. He could give anything. Ask you shall receive. Believe it shall be done. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us life. Lord God, please touch everybody that is watching this video. Touch everybody that has seen this, Lord God. Touch everybody that is suffering from addiction, abusive relationships, obesity, food, touch them. Caffeine, nicotine, touch them, Lord God. Heal them, Lord God. Bring it out of them. Take away that abusive spouse, significant other, Take it out of their life. Take the nicotine out. Take the drugs out. The marijuana. The pills. The heroin. The meth. The cocaine. The speed. The nicotine. The caffeine abusive relationships. Take it out of their lives. Heal them from that addiction, Lord God. Heal them from their own minds, Lord God. Heal them from their suffering mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, Lord God. Heal them. Heal them, Lord God. Take away whatever's coming against them. Take Satan out of their lives. He's not welcome there anymore, Lord God. Bless them. Do miracles in their lives, Lord God. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' wonderful name I pray. Amen. Thank, every, thank you everyone that is watching this. Thank you everyone that is believing and listening to God. That's all he can ask. That's all any of us can ask.